seized and destroyed. Dozens of illegal vehicles crushed in Providence, where city leaders are sending a strong message tonight. And their message is pretty simple. If you're caught riding an ATV or a dirt bike in the city, it will be confiscated, and as you saw right there, crushed. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Janey. And I'm Patrice Wood. Police say confiscating the bikes is a big challenge, and Michelle San Miguel is live in Providence with details. Michelle? Patrice and Dan, Providence police describe those ATVs and dirt bikes as dangerous and fast, and catching those riders is not easy since they travel in packs. A crushing defeat for riders, but a pounding win for Providence police. Right now, a pressing issue, a disturbing issue, a frustrating issue, are these motor scooters. Providence Public Works employees and police watched as a front end loader smashed a mound of ATVs and dirt bikes. A 2017 city ordinance allows police to confiscate recreational vehicles operating in Providence. As a new dad, I've also been in bed with my child asleep and you have a motorbike go up and down the street and wakes my baby up. 27 vehicles were destroyed today and another 17 are pending forfeiture to the city. Some of the bikes in this pile are valued up to $1,500, but police say selling them is not worth it. We found in other jurisdictions that they end up back on the streets of the city in which you're selling them to. Seeing these bikes get demolished is a sweet victory for police when they talk about how difficult it was to catch the riders. And they pull alongside a police car and, and pull right alongside and yell something at the officer, maybe even kick the police car. We've seen that. And police said two vehicles that were confiscated were transferred to the city's parks department. Reporting live in Providence, Michelle San Miguel, NBC 10 News.